Lalalu is inviting you to the grand opening of our animal hospital. Pets of all colors, shapes, and sizes are welcome here. Let's make an IV stand. Take a straw and two pieces of wire. Wrap one around the other and remove the excess with wire cutters. Shape it like this. Put the straw on. Add a binder clip to make the stand steady enough. Cut small bags out of a plastic package. Add watercolor paint to some water and pour it in. Seal the edges. Add handles and hang the bags on the stands. Make a tube out of small cords. Glue a piece of straw to the edge. Cut it and attach a catheter. It's so easy to put it on the paw. My cat will need an IV during her operation. We'll do our best. Yay! The operation went well and my kitty will feel much better very soon. But she needs to wear a recovery suit. Take a piece of fabric. Outline the cat. Outline the paws. And cut leg openings. Try it on the cat and make alterations. Tuck the fabric near the neck and the tail. Glue on some piping and straps. Aww! These bows are so cute! Fluffy, we are gonna put a recovery suit on you. Don't worry, it's as soft as your blanket at home. Make a feeding bottle. Fill the bottleneck with hot glue and shape it as a nipple. Cover the rim with blue acrylic paint. Decorate with a heart and draw lines with a permanent marker. Puppies love milk. They can't eat on their own yet, so we'll need to use a bottle. Take a plastic piece with round compartments and cut out two of them. Remove the top of a bigger one and trim the attachment point to the other compartment. Fill it with light clay. Shape it like this and glue the two pieces together. Make a water station out of a small bottle. Pour in the painted water. Seal the bottleneck with hot glue and glue it to the second semi-sphere. Everything's ready! Now the dog always has fresh water to drink. We have several water stations. But I'd recommend this one. One push and the water is in the bowl. Thanks, I'll take it. It's so easy to use. Let's make a wheelchair for dogs. Make a frame out of Legos. Attach the wheels. This poor dog is limping. Let's make a strap out of a ribbon. Glue Velcro to the edges. We just need to attach the ribbons to the wheels and it's done. Doctor, how can I help my dog? It's gotten harder for him to walk over the years. I can recommend a wheelchair for dogs. It's helped so many dogs have an active lifestyle again. <laughs> Good boy, Jack! This dog brush can help us clean even the thickest fur. Cut a rectangular piece out of a rubber squishy. It feels so nice! Glue it to a sheet of foam paper and remove the excess. Add an elastic cord to the top. The brush is ready for business! Who's next? Whoa. Harry needs some grooming. First, we need to wash him. And then it's time to brush him. His fur will be all clean and soft. Let's make a cone. 
Cut a piece out of a transparent folder. Add piping to the outside and inside edge. Make a clasp out of a band-aid. Now the cat is safe. Jessie got her stitches taken out and she needs some time to recover. After her checkup, she had to wear a cone. Now she won't lick her wounds and they'll heal faster. Let's make a pet bed. We'll need the soap later, but the soap dish will come in handy now. Outline the soap dish on a piece of foam rubber. Cut it according to the outlines and put it inside the soap dish. Put a pillow inside a fabric case. Glue a printed image of a name to the sides. Now it looks like Trixie has his own castle. Ken is crazy about his dog and they can play together all day. <laughs> Today is a special day at the animal hospital. Sarah is about to give birth to her puppies. The vets gently put her on a bed. And here's the first bark. Wow, there are so many little Dalmatians. Now Sarah and Vector have a big Dalmatian family. Dogs need their own passports. Cut a piece out of a plastic container. We have already printed a mini passport. We just need to get the sticker. Attach it to a plastic piece. And now Elizabeth is a real citizen with real documents. Your dog needs more vitamins. And don't forget your new passport. Elizabeth can use it to travel. <laughs> Let's make a pet carrier bag out of a plastic toy package. Remove all the extra parts to leave only a frame and a lid. Don't forget about a small blanket, so the pets are warm and cozy. Secure both parts of the carrier with a satin ribbon. Add Velcro to the other piece of the ribbon. Add a handle made of piping to the top. And it's ready! The cat needs to check out the new place. Lissy loves it. She's purring. It's not always comfortable to carry pets to the vet in your arms. Kate has her cage. And Lissy is in a trendy pet carrier. Even the vet agrees it's a good idea. Good night. Take care. Make a leash and a collar out of piping, a carabiner, and a pendant. Attach the pendant to the carabiner. Put a cord through. The dog will love it! Make the necessary length by using clamps. You can regulate it. Trim the edge and attach a clasp for the leash. Tie it so the dog is comfortable. Our doggy has a cute collar and a firm leash. Veterinarians recommend walking a dog on a leash to help with training. <laughs> now this dog can become a good boy. The animal hospital needs a new pet desk. Cut a rectangular piece out of a plastic toy package. Take metallic cardboard. Measure a piece and cut it out. Here's the double-sided tape. We have been looking all over for it. Attach it to the sides. Cover the desktop with a silver cardboard sheet. Cover the sides and the front with smaller strips. Yeah! This new pet desk is like a mirror. The animal hospital did a great job today. All the pets got the right treatment and now they are absolutely healthy! Like our video, subscribe to Lalaloo and click the bell so you don't miss any of our new videos!